Welcome to Easy Alim Learning Simplified. Today we are going to be learning on Form 2 Mathematics and our topic for today is rotation. So today we are going to rotate some specific points without actually drawing. So in the last two lessons we looked at rotating along the Cartesian plane from the origin and you are given specific point, either points or an object. So we rotated that. You can go back and check the previous videos. So in this case, you are going to be rotating as you get the, the points of our images, but not necessarily a drawing. So how are we going to do this? We are going to do this by checking the common thread that we notice when you are rotating a certain point. So let's start. So you notice the object point, for example, the one that we have been using in the previous lessons was point P, which was uh, coordinate 4, 5. So you will notice some similarities or some properties as you get the rotation, depending on if it's clockwise or anticlockwise. Let's put our focus on positive 180 and negative 180 first. You notice when you are rotating this point at positive 180 and negative 180, you get the same image. And then when you are rotating from positive 360 to negative 360, you end up with the same point where you started from. So make sure you note these two. The positive or negative 180, you will get the same Im image point. And then for positive 360 and negative 360, you remain the same position. It doesn't move. At, at, uh, or at the origin also, at zero degrees, you notice you remain at the same point. The big difference comes in now with positive 90 and negative 90. Now there is an inversion that happens in this case. So you can see our point P was 4, 5. It becomes 5, 4. Our P also was 4, 5, 5, 4. And the other difference is when you have a positive rotation is anticlockwise. The, the x-axis, the one that turns negative. And when you have uh, anticlockwise, uh, um, not anticlockwise, clockwise uh, rotation, you notice the Y, the y-axis is the one that changes you add a negative so let's try with values uh, that are not four five and see if we can still get the same thing so if you are given q at three two r is negative one four and s is negative two and six and we have t is negative one and we also have another point a b we want to rotate these points along this same angle of rotations at the origin and see the product that we get so we will start with 180 because we saw that was easier one. So we are going to, re to repeat it. I'm going to, to, to increase this line so that we can do it in the same angle of rotation. Like that. So we will start with Q, which is 3, 2. So at positive 90, we said you swap, so it's going to be 2, 3. And then positive, when it comes positive 90, the y-axis is the one, the x-axis is the one that you add a negative. So you retain the same 2, 3 at negative 90, but in this case, our, our uh, x value is going to be negative. For positive 180, it's going to be remain the same, but with negative to be negative 3, negative 2. And the same case with negative 180, it's going to be the same. And then for 360, it doesn't move, so it's returned 3, 2. And negative 360 is the same 3, 2. And then for 0 degrees, it's still the same, which is 3, 2. So you see, you can actually guess and from the trend that we have noticed. So for R, remember it's negative 1, 4. So the first thing we swap, which is 4, and then 1. So in the x-axis, the one that we introduce are negative. So we have negative 4, negative 4. And then in this case, you still have 4, 1. But in this case, we're adding a negative here. And it had a negative already, so it's going to be positive. And then for 180, we are just... Uh, change the sign so you have one because negative negative is one and negative four and the same case will be one negative four and then for 360 we will remain in the same position which is negative one four negative one four and also at at zero it will be the same
So can you try to work out for S, T, and A, B? I will do for you the A, B. You can try A, S, and T, I see. So for A and B, so it's going to be B and A, and it's negative B. And then this one is going to be B, negative A. And then this is going to be negative A, negative B. This is going to be at 3, at 180, the same negative A, negative B. And 360, it's going to remain the same. And also 360, the same, negative, origin, the same. Try to work out for S and T on your own using the trends that you've noticed above. So another thing we can be able to do, especially when you are discussing through 180 degrees and the center is not the origin, then it means you need to do some extra calculation. For example, when you are given 0 0.23 and 75 and you're supposed to rotate it from, this is the center of rotation, which is 1, 4, but now you are rotating it through 180 degrees. This is different from the rotation at the center as you were doing in the previous slide. So, but we have a formula that can help us to do this calculation. So in general, point A, B is written through 180, about X, Y is marked on the point. So the formula is you're going to multiply 2 times X, and X is uh, the X value of the uh, center of rotation minus A, and then 2 times Y, which is the Y value of the center of rotation minus B point. So, for example, if we have 2, 3, it's going to be 2 times 1, because this is the center of rotation, minus 2, and then 2 times 4, which is the y value, minus b, our b is going to be 3. So, this point is going to be 2 times 1 is 2, 2 minus 2 is 0, and then 2 times 4 is 8, 8 minus 3 is 5. You see? And then for 7, 5, it will be 2 times 1 again, minus now 7, and 2 times 4, minus 5, like that, which is going to give us 2 times 1 is 2, 2 minus 7 is minus 5, and then 2 times 4 is 8, 8 minus 5 is going to be 3. That's how it's going to look like. So let's use the same example to do a few calculations. So I'm going to do for you A and B or this and this. Do not forget is 2 times X minus A and then 2 times Y minus B. So in this case, this is the center. This is the center. So the first value is going to be 2 times the X value, which is 2, minus the point on the X axis, which is 3, and then 2 times 1 y value minus minus 4 which is going to give us 2 times 2 is 4 4 minus 3 is 1 and 2 times 1 is 2 2 plus 4 is 6 and then b is going to be 4 5 and the center is 3 8 so it's going to be 2 times 3 minus 4 and 2 times 8 minus 5 so this is going to be 2 times 3, which is 6. 6 minus 4 is 2. And then 2 times 8 is 16. 16 minus 5 is 11. That is our point. So I want you to take your time and try the rest of the question. This this uh, question, C and D, using the same formula. So the next thing we will talk about rotational symmetry of a plane figure. So this is the last bit of rotation. So this is just, you're just going to mention this uh, and the rule that applies to this. And then we are going to conclude that topic on rotation. So when you look at the number of times the figure can fit into itself in one complete turn, we usually call it the order of sim rotational symmetry. So if you rotate a certain uh, figure onto itself, like how many times does it rotate? Fit, can it fit onto itself in one complete turn? That is what we refer to as the order of rotation of symmetry. So how do we calculate this? We calculate this by getting the angle 360 degrees, which is the angle of the center, like a complete angle, and then the angle between two identical parts. I'm going to show you an example. So you notice that the rotational symmetry is also called a point symmetry, and rotational preserves the 
Length, angles, areas, and the object and its image are usually directly congruent. So, for example, you have been given this uh, figure. So, you know the distance between uh, the angle between uh, the two points is usually 120. Or you see this part is identical to this part. So, the angle in between is 120. So, we said when we want to get the point symmetry or the point the order of rotational symmetry is going to be 360 degrees over 120 in this case because 120 degrees is the angle between the two identical parts. The same case if you were to take this part and this part, the angle, you take the angle between here and here. So we just pick one of the angles which is going to be 360 uh, divided by 120 which is going to give us Three. So if you divide this by 121 by 120, it's going to be 3. So the order of rotation symmetry is 3. So it means this, um, this uh, image or this figure, this figure that we are circling, it can take, it's, it, three times of this figure will fit into itself in one complete turn. It will fit itself three times. That is what is meant. So that brings us to the end of rotation officially. So you can get more revision questions on especially calculating or getting the images of the specific objects when you're not required uh, to draw on the Cartesian plane. So you can also get more notes on the app. So go check out those questions and notes on the app. So see you uh, next time.